Okay, so right here I have Tag Time Web, which is a uh, statistic time tracking website that I made. I'll show you how it works. So first I'm going to sign up. Okay, so this is what you get when you sign up. I'm going to hit Get Started. And okay, so I got my first ping. So it asked me, okay, it's Tag Time. What am I doing exactly at this time? So I can enter it in. So let's say, recording video. They're just tag. Notice how each one of these has its own color. If I add in some more one. They all have a unique color, and then I can just hit enter to complete the tag or hit the little button. Now if I go into pings, I can see my historical pings, so this is the one that I just entered. If I go into settings, there's a few settings I can change. So I can, and this displays on the home page too, hit this button and enable notifications. So I get a notification whenever there's a ping. I can make it so it plays audio whenever there's a ping. <laughs> which one you choose. That way you just know when there's a ping, in addition to the notifications, of course. Uh, here you can change how often pings occur. So if I change this to something like two minutes and hit update, then now we'll get pings on average two minutes apart. Here I can change the default pings when I'm AFK, like away from keyboard. You can import or export from a tag time log. If I click that, it'll just download my tag time log. And you can even change it to dark mode. So let's go back to the home page and wait for the next ping. Okay, so now we've got a new ping. So if I hit more info, it just shows you more info. Here's a neat trick. If you hit the uh, double or single quote, then it will just repeat all of the previous tags. And notice how it says AFK here? That's because I didn't answer the previous ping, so it just assumed I was away from the keyboard. You also can't have duplicate tags. Like if I type in video again, it just disappears because it doesn't make sense to have duplicate tags. Uh, yeah, that's it. There are a few more features, but that's the basics of using Tag Time Web.